Okay, I have a fun original effect to share with you today. I call this the 12 days of Christmas. And so for this, you need an ace through queen of two of the four suits, okay? So I have spades and diamonds here. Now I'm going to assume I have two spectators, spectator A over here and a spectator B over here, okay? So let's go ahead and gather these up. And then you can have one of the spectators randomly stack these, maybe top on bottom, that would be just fine. Now from here, um, as the performer, you can uh, carry out a Charlier shuffle if you'd like. I can add a link in the description below if you want to learn this one. It's a great way to mix the cards. And then just have one of the spectators cut the cards wherever they would like and complete the cut. So maybe right there. Okay, great. And now what we're going to do is uh, deal out the cards into two piles. Uh, one for spectator A and one for spectator B. Okay, so let's just take a look here. Now, since the cards were very much in a particular ordering, as you saw, <laughs> they were in blocks of 12, it's going to take us a little bit to mix these, right? So that's not super mixed. We have all these spades and diamonds here. So what we're going to do to begin to really mix these, and you're going to mix them to your heart's content in just a moment. Uh, but here I'm performing what's called a Klondike Shuffle. And that's going to begin to mix the colors a little bit, you know, red, black, and so forth. Okay, I'll do the same thing for a Spectator B to get their mixing process kind of started here. And then what you need to do is just uh, hand the packets to each Spectator, Spectator A over here and B over here, and then just have them deal out their packets into two piles with random stacking decided by them individually. Okay, so they can do this mixing independent of each other. They don't have to um, watch the other mix, mixing the packet. They can choose to deal out into two piles a different number of times with different stacking. That would be just fine. Uh, I think this is a third one for Spectator A. But whatever they choose is just fine. And so note to you as the performer, that really is true. The spectators can deal out these cards into two piles in this way with random stacking decided by them. And they can do as many of these as they like. They truly, truly can. Okay. And so maybe spectator B will just do a second one and call it good. Now that's just fine. Okay. And now what you have them do is have them deal out into two piles, but not stack this time. So this is Spectator A's pile. So just have them deal out into two piles and then perform something called a rosette shuffle. This is where you just spin the cards and you just bring them together in whatever haphazard way they happen to interlace. So there we go. That's Spectator A's crazy mess. Uh, Spectator B, same thing. Just sell it into two piles and then perform a rosette shuffle spin away and just bring those together just like that okay very good and then for each of them just have spectator a maybe begin deal off the top let's say six cards three four five six very good leave the other six as a second pile okay so these are spectator a's cards um, same thing for spectator b three four five six okay very good Okay. And then for each of them, they just need to decide which of their two piles they want to keep and which one goes to the other spectator. So spectator A, which of these two piles do you want to keep as one of yours? The bottom one? Okay. So this one here will go to spectator B in just a moment. Uh, spectator B, which one would you like to keep for yourself? Top one? Okay, so that means this one goes over here, and then this is for spectator B. And then to finish, why don't we go ahead and just do a final rosette shuffle. You can have spectators do this. Just gonna spin, bring together, okay? And then what we're going to do is, we're going to take a look at their cards. Now, what I'm hoping will happen here, if we've made a good series of choices throughout this, even though they are random choices, I'm really hoping that both of you have received all 12 gifts for the 12 days of Christmas. Now on the left, I have specifically what those are, right? So in day one, it's a partridge in a pear tree. Day two, two turtle doves and so forth. 
So I'm hoping that despite all of the chaos and kind of the cross mixing that we've done, that each of you have walked away with a complete set of all 12 gifts for the 12 days of Christmas. So let's just take a look and see if that's happened. Okay, so Spectator A, did you receive a gift for each day? Let's just take a look here. Okay, so, okay, here's the first day of Christmas. <laughs> first gift, two, three. Do you guys see a four? I do, a four, uh, five, uh, six, right there, a seven. Oh, it looks like we're, no, we're not missing eight. It's right there, eight. And see a nine, 10, Jack, Queen, check that out. Spectator A is feeling pretty good. And I would imagine that would mean that Spectator B also walked away with a complete set of all 12 gifts for the 12 days of Christmas. That is absolutely a Christmas miracle. Okay, well, great. Well, if you do everything that I did, this will work for you. Um, there's quite a bit of mathematics behind this, but I'm hoping to keep this video short, partly because very few people watch the technical tutorial at the end anyway. So just do everything that I did and this will work perfectly as demonstrated here. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.